welcome back to a brand new vlog. Welcome back to my vlog series. I'm here with Nathan again and we are at Animal Kingdom. And I'm not joking, it is the hottest day we've experienced. Uh, yeah, like we, we literally, Nathan was saying before, we need to keep on top of our waters because he had heat exhaustion a few years ago and definitely don't want to be having that, it is, it is really warm. He was saying that he didn't think he could come here in the summer because this is, nah, it's 23 hot, degrees in that. That isn't that hot for Florida. But usually it's about 30 degrees. But anyway guys, today it's our final day in Animal Kingdom. It's our last time here for this series. So we're coming in, we're going to get on all the things that we haven't done. Nathan wants to do the safari. He also wants to see like the animal enclosures and things. So we're going to do that. We're going to see the bats things like that so so yeah let's go before we go into this video if you like this type of content make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button guys because we've got a few more of these vlogs to go now and I can't believe we're coming to the final stretch of our holiday and also don't go anywhere as well because as many of you know obviously last week we stayed at uh, Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary Resort which was incredible and tonight we are checking into Port Orleans Riverside which we're both both very very excited for and I think our first stop will probably be one of the safaris maybe we should do one of the walking through safaris you reckon first yeah. i'm gonna be honest it's such a hot day it is actually really warm i can feel we've got sun cream and everything on but i can actually feel the back of my neck burning which is awful do you know what nathan you hit the nail on the head we should probably get a hat you know it'll be quite a cool idea to basically try and go around the whole of Animal Kingdom today, because you guys have already seen us do the rides, but most of them. Try and go around Animal Kingdom and see as many animals as we can. See tigers, lions, uh, obviously. The spider on your shoulder. The spiders. He got, he, well, you got a cheek. He was terrified last night of the spider on the balcony. That was about four. There was about Different. four. In Bay Lake four. Tower, never. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Never would that happen. Not in a not in a deluxe resort, surely. <laughs> Do you know actually funny? My first night in Pop Century, there was a spider about the size of my hand. Well maybe not that big actually, because I've got big hands. But there was a big, big spider in the bathtub. And I actually went downstairs to mention to the staff because I was like, I can't get rid of that. Yeah, someone's gonna have to come and get it. And they actually offered to switch me room because of the spider. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's fine. But anyways, yeah, I think mean, that would be a cool idea to try and get around all of Animal Kingdom and basically see as many animals as we possibly can. We'll do the safari. We'll do, we could even do Rafiki's Planet Watch. I think that's the one where we watch the live operations, which don't really fancy seeing that, to be honest. Um, it's not definitely not my cup of tea. Oh, look at the little lion. Oh, look how cute that is. I know some of you have probably thought was a real lion that's definitely not but i would take that home it just would not fit in my case so yes this is the first one so we're gonna go into the jungle trek now i remember this one with stevie this was awesome and these are some of the things that you might see today so you might see a monkey you might see a tiger and you might see a dragon and you'll see a real dragon which is cool I'm excited for this. So we've came up across one of our first big species, which is a tiger. And tigers are frequently encountered in the ruins ahead. Ooh, and there's a lot of people up here taking pictures. Let's see if we can find a tiger. And there we go, guys. If you actually look very carefully, you can actually see her right there. She's oh, over here. That's awesome. Oh, and he has even a better shot of her right over there. Oh, wow. And now we're in the bird enclosure. And just the noise in here in itself is incredible. Oh, wow. All the birds, oh, there's loads of different types of birds in here. I wouldn't even know how to name them all for you, but just that sound. I know our cat's back at home. If he heard this, we'd just be, there he is, we'd be going crazy. Oh, look at this, how cute. Oh, we're just momentarily stopping animal viewing while I'm in the gift shop. And look at this, oh. How nice is that? I don't want to touch it though. Because I don't obviously want to, you know, just, yeah, don't want to touch it. But how much do you reckon? $30? Or do you reckon a little bit more? 32. 32. Problem is, is I just feel like it's too themed at Christmas. I won't be able to use it any other time. We've actually got some 50th celebration as well, which is a 16 month calendar, which I like. And then you've got the press coin collection. I actually picked up some 50th merch this morning actually which I'll show you later in this vlog if not I'll remember to put it in the next vlog I'll have to write that down actually I bought that early this morning oh there's some games over here as well Battleship Monopoly see I keep seeing this Monopoly Disney version everywhere I feel like it's like meant to be oh I absolutely love that 
How nice is that? Do you know what we might need to do, Nathan, before we leave here? Yeah, we might need to nip over at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And, uh, and I might need to buy that DVC mug that I loved the look of the other day. Look at this. How nice is that? I know I wouldn't be able to pull it off and neither would Nathan, but how nice is that? I love all the colours. It's lovely. Right, I've just found the cutest bag in Disney. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I said to Nathan before, we're going to have to head over to Animal Kingdom Lodge after we've been in Animal Kingdom for a bit because there's a mug that I seen the other day and I was like, I did that typical thing that a lot of you guys do. We all do the same thing. I might find it somewhere else. I'll pick it up later in the trip. And guess what? I've not seen it since. So guess where we're having to go tonight? Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, it'd be nice to visit my home resort anyway again. We're just walking into Pandora now. We're actually going to try and attempt to get the Blossom. I think it's called the Night Blossom. We love it. It's honestly, it's a twister, isn't it? It literally is a twister. I've said this. Yeah. It's a twister. It's a twister blended. <laughs> And then yeah, flight of passage and hopefully Nobby River journey as well. That's squirting trees, just squirted us on the arm. I don't think I've ever talked to you talked to you guys before about the squirting tree, have I? If you know, you know. And this just never gets old. It makes you want to watch the movie. Just a quick one as well. There actually isn't just the night blossom you can get from here as well, guys. There actually is a few different things. There's a rum blossom, margarita, country ale, hawk's grog ale. Obviously, we get we love this because obviously it's alcohol free. But uh, there is a few different options. Again, Night Blossom is so good. And we're going to go on Flight of Passage. So we're going to chill, have this, and then we'll probably catch you in Flight of Passage before we go on the ride. I just wish we could vlog the ride. I'm glad we can't because I don't want to ruin it for any of you guys. But yeah, I just wish we could vlog it because it is, honestly, in my opinion, it's hard to choose between this and obviously Rise of the Resistance, but I would obviously say this probably is my number one still because it's just incredible. In Obviously, in in... Disney, my number one right now, believe it or not, in uh, Universal is Velcro Coaster. Was it called a Velocicoaster? I was going to call it Velcro. Is it called Velcro Coaster? Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. 75 minute wait time as well. We can we can do that. Hi, are you okay? We can do that easily. And at least Nathan's going to see all the theming as well for this ride now because we bypass it when you do fast track. I was just saying to Nathan there, it's advertised at 75. Now I've done this ride so many times. I've never known it. Like usually you'll be about 90 minutes at the door. So I feel like this is probably going to be a little bit shorter than 75. But this is gorgeous all lit up in the dark because it's all these plants will like glow like blues and greens. And it's so nice. So nice. And we're the only ones walking on currently at the moment. So this is perfect. Chilling with our night blossoms. Yeah, I'm living my best Disney life. Love this park. And it's so quiet as well. It's just so nice. It's just not that busy today, which is always a plus. Just a quick one, guys. While we're standing in the queue for Flight of Passage, I thought this would be really worth mentioning. They've now put bathrooms. Now, I can't ever remember this being a thing. So maybe, quote me if I'm wrong. But when I came on this ride 2018 and 2019, I never remember there being bathrooms there. There's now bathrooms, so if anyone gets to the point like me, like if you have a drink and then you're like, oh, I need the toilet and I've still got like an hour to wait, there's bathrooms right there, which is awesome. Absolutely love the Jake theme in there. It is absolutely incredible. It's just the attention to detail. It literally looks human. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh. Excited. So this will be pretty much us now going on the ride. This is... Pr I've actually found very quickly the reason why the queue's been going slow it's because people like to take pictures but now obviously we're past this it's it's pretty much straight on okay sealed genetic matching room we call it a banshee the way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an avatar and i'm here to help you guys get ready but first we have to scan oh, for our flight of passage and that was for the final time this trip how sad and gutted. <laughs> Every time I like I ride a ride and I know it's gonna be the last time, I always get a bit upset because it's like, well, you know, after what we've all been through, you never know when your next trip's gonna be. So we didn't do fast pass or anything. We waited in line just like everyone else. And we waited about 75 minutes, 90 minutes, I would say. Kept slowing down, then speeding up the queue, but I'm glad we saved the money, to be honest. Honestly, I'm really glad we saved the money. Narby River journey, 60 minutes. Oh, 
I really wish you could. Oh, three fifty did that. I would have missed. See, I really think you would enjoy that. It is stunning, Narvi River journey. It's just sixty minutes. So we're making our way into Africa now, and we really want to do the safari. Obviously, like I said to you guys at the start of the video, let's see how many animals we can see in this vlog. <laughs> can Narvi tell I'm uh, right at the bottom of that barrel, looking for the content in this vlog? <laughs> nah, but on a serious note, Nathan really wants to do the safari, so that's the reason being. Where you know we're looking for the animals, but, but yeah, let's actually see. Oh, 40 minutes, I suppose it's better than 100 or 200. Right, but here we go. It's now actually, believe it or not, it went from a 40 minute to a 45. <laughs> but we want to do it, so let's get on. And do you know, I can't believe this is the first time this trip that I'm actually going on it. So, find them resting when the weather is colder. You may find them at the open grassy plains soaking up. And this is it, we're pretty much ready to go on. And we haven't waited no longer than 30 minutes for this to be honest, which is um, absolutely fine. I was saying to Nathan, this is one of these rides where sometimes you'll get very fortunate and you'll see so much, and then other times you can be pretty unlucky, but everyone keep your fingers and toes crossed, let's see how much we can see on this. Woo! Before we begin our long journey across Africa, it's important that we do go over just a few things. One is please remain seated at all times, <laughs> even when we are stopped. And let's keep our arms, hands, legs, and feet inside as well. Just so you can like see, that's actually the size of the vehicle that we're on as well. So it's actually quite a big vehicle. Going to the ground, but they will each have their own unique pattern words. Oh, that way, when they are running through all these bushes and trees, those antlers won't get caught up in them. Also, looks like there's another type of antelope over here. It's going to be a lighter brown one. How's that looking? Any antlers? Back in the water, though. That's because their skin is going to be pretty sensitive. So they can be underwater. I'm actually not going to be part of the canine family. They are going to have their own family called the Hyena Day. Quite a few oh, giraffes over there. The giraffes so actually on the road, so we're actually stuck. Giraffes. Happily be stuck here. Look, wildebeests, giraffes. This is the best. Do you reckon he's going to move? It looks like it oh, might be moving. He's a follow leader. Like oh. walking all the way down the road, being born. Oh wow! And it looks like this giraffe is gonna stand in the road for us now. Hopefully, it will move on by. But giraffe's tongues are gonna be pretty long. They will be upwards to a foot and a half long. So if you stick your arm up, on. look. So we'll wait right here because I don't want to push it over our massive animals. They're scared of the noises that bees make. So in Africa, they will surround their crops with beehives, a 65 miles an hour. Cheetahs are not long distance runners though. We're off Kilimanjaro Safari, loved it. Nathan loved it, he said it was a lot longer than he thought it would be, a lot more there as well. We, uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened, we, yeah, the, the, a giraffe walked in the middle of the road, so we were literally there for about an extra five minutes. And it was awesome to be honest, because it was just nice to chill, look at the animals. We're going to head now to Joffrey's. Nathan's desperate for a donut, and uh, I really fancy a coffee, but I do actually also fancy a donut also, so we'll see what we can get. And I've caved, guys. I've got it. I've got the sesame chicken. A lot of you on Instagram have been asking me to get this. I've had it before, and it is just unreal. Yeah, we don't do this in the UK, so it's, um, yeah, I'm definitely getting it, and it's, oh, I'm so excited. Honestly, the chicken with the rice. Mm. And look the way the chicken is inside. This is so good. Like I say, the last time I had this was 2019 with Stevie. And it was lovely back then. Me and Stevie ended up having this about three times on our last trip because it was that good. So, so yes, I'm very happy. Right, so we're at Joffrey's. Nathan's just got himself a donut and I've just got myself some hot cocoa because the hot cocoa from Joffrey's is out of this world and I'll um, I'll show you what Nathan thinks of the the donut in a sec. So Nathan's eating the donut, this is the one he's got and he, he's like chapping his lips, he's loving it. Is it like everything you imagined? This will not be my last one of these. Oh will it not? Is it really that good? Yeah. Oh. You need to get I do, but look at the size of it. Look at the size of Nathan's head, and look at the size of that donut. It's the size of your head, mate. 
Okay. But you're only in Florida once. That's been the uh, motto of this trip. <laughs> you're only in Florida once. Well, and that's us finished with Animal Kingdom for this trip. We're gutted. And now he's getting another donut for Joffrey's, and I think I'm going to join him. Because, oh, do they have donuts? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Nathan wants a donut from Joffrey's again. It's not just me. I know. Oh, well, yeah. It's not just me. I don't know if I'm going to get one, you know, because I need to be good. I can see my face getting rounder and rounder and rounder. Oh, you're getting the same one? Oh. Yeah, I think I'll hold off. After, oh, look, after, don't make it only after looking at me face in this lens, no, I, you haven't paid for it. All oh, right, no worries. Right, no. After my, after my, Nathan, honestly, the more I look at me, <laughs> literally, the more I look at me cell, the more I'm. Th <laughs> well, how, how are you enjoying that donut? <laughs> and here we go. We are checking into Port Orleans Riverside, and this looks absolutely gorgeous. Oof, I'm excited for this. Come on, Mr. Brewer, so open the door. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and oh yeah, I'm such a diva, aren't I? So we've just checked in and we're in building 85 and oh, she said like, that, what did she say? These buildings are very much like old, um, big mansions or something. Old style mansions and I know what she means. It's stunning here. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is classed as a moderate resort and I think this is building 85 here. So I think we're coming up to our room here and this is our view, hopefully. Uh, 8778, we're 8779. 8799. Oh, 8799. Oh, okay. All right, we've got a little bit more of walking. <laughs> we've got lost, guys. <laughs> lost a few times, but we're getting there. You, you'll realise with me and Nathan, we're hopeless. Absolute hopeless. Right. Keep following this round. So this is our room, 8799. After 10 years, we found it. Oh, oh, we'll just knock the light on. Yay! Oh, oh my god! Oh, I'll have this bed, I'll have the one closer. Ooh! This is nice! I feel like, as the one who paid for it, I should get to choose the bed. Oh, well, yeah. You can have the one closest to the door, so if a murderer comes in, you're the first one to be taken. <laughs> oh, do you want that bed anyway? I'm not sure. Oh! Oh, we've got two sinks! Oh god, sorry guys. Two sinks? Oh, this is very nice. Bathtub. Well, actually, the TV was on it out of animation, but it hasn't been on any other ones. But it's nice. Maybe it's because we've checked in so late. Maybe they put it on. I don't know. I'm just... This is... I must say, man, that's very noisy. Yeah, we'll knock it off. Right, we've got an issue guys, big issue here. So we're meant to be eating at City Works tonight at half nine and it's currently ten past nine as we as it's as it stands and there's just no way we're gonna get there in time. There's just no way that we can't get on the boat for twenty minutes, but we've got to time the boat. So I don't know if it's just a case of we're gonna wait for our luggage to come up and then just go there and, and see what happens. The problem is is mine and Nathan's car are both attached to it, Nathan's under his and mine under mine. So we're both going to get charged, I believe it's $10 for not showing up to a reservation. So it'd be like $5 each, which to be honest, the price that we're going to pay for the meal, I don't know. I suppose we're going to have to make a very quick decision on this. We're eating from the canteen tonight and we're just going to get it taken to the room. Right, let us show you this pizza. Oh, 
that looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna love yous and leave yous, and I will check back in with yous tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all good. Welcome to Port Orleans Riverside. The last you would have seen would have been us with a pizza which was there, and it's so funny. I know some of yous will be saying, two pizzas between yous, and the reason why I know you'll be saying that is because someone last night said the exact same words. Two pizzas between yous. You must be hungry. Someone must be hungry, two pizzas. Yeah, or we just like our food. <laughs> that's literally, that's literally how it boils down. But yes, we had the best day at Animal Kingdom. In fact, actually one of my favorite days so far. Obviously, I do love Animal Kingdom. It's such an amazing park. At the start of the vlog, I was talking to you guys about trying to see as many animals as we possibly could. We've seen a lot, actually. Obviously, the giraffe cut off the road, which I'm sure I vlogged. I don't know if I filmed that on my phone or if I vlogged that. Yeah, the giraffe cut off the road. We've seen elephants, we've seen alligators, we've seen, we've seen, well, cro alligators, crocodile. What else did we see? Lions, we've seen tigers. Oh, hyenas. Hyenas, hippos. Buffalo. 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 Gazelle. Gazelle, I don't even Those know what it is. for the pointy things. The that pointy killed, horns. That killed Simba's dad. Yes, yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, we've seen them as well. So there's a lot. If you're wondering why there's a loud noise, well, we've got Slender Man in the background, which is not very Disney. But to be honest, it, this just came on. We were actually watching Back to the Future last night, which was which was really good. One, a, a good classic. But yeah, we had an amazing day. Obviously, we've seen the trailer. Do you know what we learned a lot yesterday as well? Obviously, I didn't realise. And please don't judge me on this. And to be honest, I'll I'll drop Nathan in it as well because he didn't know this either. I didn't know the Tree of Life was a real thing. I actually didn't realise that the Tree of Life, I thought it was just a thing in in The Lion King. I didn't realise that the Tree of Life is an actual tree that retains water for up to three months and then obviously animals in the wild can, can obviously can, you know, drink from it. I didn't realise that, which is just so cool. And yeah, we honestly, we had such an amazing day. Obviously, we did Flight of Passage, which is Nathan's favourite ride in all of Walt Disney World. Obviously, we are going to Magic Kingdom today, so we might find his favourite ride in Magic Kingdom. I highly doubt it, mind. I think it will be Flight of Passage, but we never know. And then, obviously, we checked into Port Orleans Riverside, which I'm just going to show you the room. Me and Nathan are basically going through all our belongings, making sure, because we've been checked in, checking into so many resorts here, Every time we like wake up the next morning in a new resort, we'll go through all our belongings, make sure we've got it, and we've, we've already lost things. Nathan's lost his toothbrush, so we're gonna have to go and get one. And I don't know where on Disney we will be able to get a toothbrush. It's probably gonna be Walgreens, which is then an Uber, which is just not ideal. Unless, unless, I don't know, unless, we'll try obviously the main lobby reception. Obviously you guys could let us know in the comments. Obviously we'll be home by the time we find out, but, Obviously, if you guys know just for future reference or if, a kid, if anyone else goes through the same thing, that would be amazing. But tomorrow, we do our test to get home, and then we've got two more days after that before we actually go. Well, Nathan's got three, I've got two, because obviously I fly home a day before Nathan. And then today, we're going to Magic Kingdom, and we do have Genie Plus. Now, we weren't planning on getting Genie Plus, but it was already pre-booked, so we've got Genie Plus. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you've liked this video, make sure you smash that like button, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I also want to just say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to daily vlogs early before they come on YouTube. They also get access to podcasts, and daily live streams we're obviously from doing the live streams if you'd be interested in that make sure you check the check the link below and don't forget to come back next week because like i say we're heading to magic kingdom we've got genie plus we're gonna be trying all the rides it's gonna be nathan's first time in magic kingdom and it'll be our last time this trip actually in magic kingdom so so yes let's see how we get on and then we're eating at ohana tonight which is just oh I am so excited. I've been wanting to try Ohana for a long time. And we're eating there tonight, so I'm really, really excited for it. Anyways, guys, on that note, I will see you in the next vlog. Say bye, Nathan. Bye. <laughs> see you soon, guys. Bye, 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 bye.